Repentance is um, is a, um, a movie that was made um, uh, that had um, originally incarnated as as a movie called The Guru and the Gypsy, and in The Guru and the Gypsy, it was about the complexity of a few human beings and um, who were brought together in uh, in in one um, story where where the character of the gypsy needed to get to the bottom of uh, of some tragedy that happened in his life through very un- unorthodox ways. You know, and um, and it was an experimental movie where I played the the, the, the gypsy and and uh, we we I looked at it and I, I was happy with it. Then I showed it to Forrest uh, with a, with whom I had already made a film before called Ripple Effect and and we were friends and and we're exploring doing other things together and uh, and then um, Forrest liked it and it naturally became um, something that we decided to remake into what Repentance has become. It's a movie that uh, that is really um, uh, exploring uh, the complexity of uh, of uh, revenge, of uh, truth, of uh, guilt, of karma, and uh, and uh, and really that fine line that uh, separates uh, the good from the bad in uh, you know and 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 from in every aspect of the movie and its making. So I would say that that's that's how I would explain repentance. What Forrest does in a very exciting way right here is that he doesn't cave in. Um, Anthony Mackie gives us many reasons why we should believe him. You know, I mean, he's he's trapped. He's uh, he's innocent. He's uh, he's uh, he's saying that uh, that he has nothing to do with it, and uh, and he looks like he wouldn't have anything to do with it. You know, and Forrest manages to pull out of him, um, you know, a lot of what went on. And in that sense, I think that it's. Uh, it's really about uh, listen to your instincts and and uh, and don't if if your instincts are telling you that something happened, um, there might there, there must be some truth behind it. The most important character in the plot is uh, I think Angel because because of his conviction um, that um, that uh, he is uh, he's on a path to finding the truth. And um, and and because he is such a complex character that is um, acting as a monster, but also is projecting a human side to him and a fragile side to him, which it's it's the fragility of a monster that's seeking the truth, who could be right or wrong, you know, but who's going about it as if he's absolutely right, you know, and uh, and because of the ways he proceeds, uh, it makes it a little bit. Uh, um, 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 kind of uh, confusing as to how anybody that has anything good in them would go down a path of trying to find out things the way he's going about it. I love the actors. Uh, uh, each one of them, I think, did amazing work. Um, Forrest, I expected it, you know, although I you can never, you know, but, but he's such a formidable actor and always delivers, you know, so I expected Forrest to be f- fantastic and he was, you know, just even more fantastic than I thought. I, I thought Mike Epps t- delivered a fantastic performance because his rawness um, made him special in so many ways. And then when you realize the truth between him and his brother, Anthony, uh, and you realize that in a way he's been a victim all his life of a dysfunctional, you know, relationship between him and his parents, between him and his brother, um, and he's become the person he is, which is miserable and um, and um, beaten by life, and has gone went down a path that uh, that, uh, that that is doesn't doesn't seem to be a real reflection of who he is. He seems to have in him, uh, you know, th- what what takes to do good in life, you know, and yet he's been sucked into the dark and and so on. And Anthony Mackie, I just uh, you know, very much loved. I, th- I thought he was wonderful and wonderful to work with. We decided first, and I and Nina Yang, that we would make the movie in New Orleans. We sent uh, a team over there. We start producing, prepping, you know, uh, building the movie around the fact that Forrest was was in it. And then, until two days before the film, uh, we didn't have a cast. We didn't have a cast until two days before principal photography, and then. Um, Forrest showed up with a cast, basically. I mean, it, it just happened so quick where, where the cast manifested and it, it's, it's because of Forrest. Um, so f- as, as a director, 
uh, I thought it was just like I've gone. It's it's, it's like going through a, a phase of not knowing what's going to happen. Are we making the movie or not? To all of a sudden having like a dream cast that shows up on. Uh, you know, on, on the movie set in New Orleans and realized that the past two months that we were prepping the movie, not knowing quite what it would be, uh, it just became... I, th I thought that that was a lot of uh, fun because it had some magic to it. First is capable as a producer to deliver small miracles and big miracles. It's like... Uh, um, and, then, and then he is such a, a generous person um, when he's part of the creative process, he's so attentive to everybody's vision. He's truly unusual in that sense because I, I, I know Forrest uh, f for working with him on two projects and, and other things that we are exploring together and um, sitting in meetings with him very often and I realize how absolutely generous he's, he is with everybody sitting at the table.